Hey folks, Jenner Morgriffin here, taking a look today at the Beyonce I Mist Atomizer. Um, I got mine from Clouds of Vapor, but I know other people are carrying them, so you should be able to find them around. Let's take a quick look. So let's take a look at this I Mist Atomizer. It comes in several parts. First, of course, there is a Ego style connector. It is fairly heavy, much heavier than other tank or Ego type atomizers. It has a tank. It's a lot like the Ego T, slightly different, but not much. Um, inside you can see the top of the wick, and it comes apart. This first part has the Beyonce I Missed logo on it, and a little white O-ring to seal it. And this is the part that contains our coil and ceramic cup. And then the top portion contains a little bit of wicking fiber coming out of that little bridge there. On the other side there's a little bit of metal I guess that sticks up and then goes into that silicon hole. Now these didn't come with it. I bought these extra. They were a dollar or so a piece but you can replace the wicks. My misunderstanding I thought you could replace the coil with a new one so it's not like that Ego C. That coil stays but you can take them apart change the wick out which is often what gets gumped up with juice flavor clean both sides easily and put it back together. However, you can't replace the coil. Um, yeah, so that's how that works. It is easy to wash, put it back together, screw it on, and the whip goes up into that little silicon bib there. Push your tank in. Now, I am going to put it on my handy dandy multimeter because it did not come with a resistance rating. Put my red indicator inside the ego connector post, hold a little bit to the negative outside grounds. Whoops. Let's try that again. 1.7, 1.8. So pretty low resistance. Not bad. Now, we're going to take this little cap off here so we can fill it because it does not fill through that little silicon tr ring. Trust me, I tried. Now, there are little gaps and little catches for this to come out and come back in, but it had sort of like a gluey material on it. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe I'm not supposed to take that off. I'm going to put that little silicon cup back in there before I lose it. But, you know, I'm going to get rid of that gummy stuff, but there are little slots on the top of the tank to like hold and catch the the top piece so I mean it looks like it's designed to come off I could be wrong it didn't come with instructions but anyway that's how I've been filling it and there's a little tabs on here that goes into those little slots so we'll just put this back on and be thankful we got the gummy goo out of the inside and then pop our filled tank into the top of the atomizer then we are ready to go and put it on an ego stock connector this is just a SBR, Evo. It works really well for, you know, an Ego T sort of tank thing. It's worked the best out of those that I have ever tried. No wicking problems for me anyway, and I, can, I was just doing a chain vape. I have it on the lowest green setting on the SVR. Big heavy pulls, no dratty. I haven't gotten one single hit of dratty off this since I got it. And I've run several tanks through it. Now, it was like $14.95 plus Bruce's usual 5% discount. So $13.14 bucks for an atomizer. That's getting a little steep. Um, I mean, my favorite on the Ego so far have been those Vision cardamizers, and they're like four or five bucks a pop. Um, they work equally well. They work almost as well as a LR um, out of your cardo, um, and they do come in different resistances. And they're fairly easy to fill. I mean, yeah, it only holds 1.8 mil, but you just screw the top off and drip some more in. Now, if you like the idea better of um, the solid stainless steel, of using the little tank and you you can buy extra tanks for these 
I didn't, I got extra wicks instead. Don't ask me why. But you could get extra tanks and have a whole bunch of filled tanks to take out with you and then you could just swap the tank and you wouldn't need a bottle to refill like the vision. But unless that coil lasts an awfully long time, I can't say that 13 bucks for this is better than four bucks for a couple of vision card misers. But if you don't like the visions too much um, and you want to give this a try, it may be Wix just a touch better than the um, than the visions. I haven't really had a problem with the vision because it's tapered and I move it up to my mouth like this so it generally gets juice up to the wicks. Some people have wicking problems with those. Um, you probably may not have them with this because it's dripping straight down so going with gravity always a bonus. Um, but they work pretty darn well. That's the I missed Atwiser.